Hello, today I'm going to make a spatula. So this is going to be similar to the medieval style cutlery stuff that I've done, but this is going to be a barbecue tool. So it's going to be much longer, but with that same reverse twist at the end and a nice black finish all the way along. Let's get into it. So I have this template which I use for the spatulas. I'll just mark out where I need to make the cuts and then we'll cut it out with an angle grinder. heated this spatula up. I also ground a little bevel just on the end of it. And I'm heating it up to get rid of the mill scale and put a bit of a forge finish on it. Forge finish on it. Which means that it will match the rest of the piece. It won't look sort of out of place. Resting the template over the actual forged one that we've done there. And I'm just gonna center punch where these holes should be. Try and get it lined up. So I'll drill those now to four mil so we can rivet them on to the handle piece. Isolate off a little bit of material which we can then use to spread for the rivets to put that other piece, the actual spatula piece, onto the handle. Using the cross pin to spread the material. hammer just to smooth it out and get rid of all of those cross bean marks. Working half on, half off over the far edge of the anvil and I'll draw down this material. I'll also come in for aesthetics, just knock these sharp corners off, just so it looks a bit nicer. I've cut it off from the main bar and just refined the shape of this end. I'm now going to centre punch where these holes should be. Um, I think I'll just put it on over the top. We can have a look, see if it's square. Just dot it. So I'll drill these as well to 4 mil, so we can rivet the forged piece onto it. So on the end of this handle I'm going to put a little reverse twist. I'll heat it back up, quench that little section off and then twist it 
anti-clockwise as that's clockwise, so we then get that reverse twist going on the handle. Using a rawhide hammer, just a wooden block, straighten it. This means that you then don't get any nasty bruises on the twist. It's all, it's all nice and nice and uniform and unnicked, basically. So I have these two rivets, just little brass rods. I mean, really, a copper rivet or brass rivet would be better, but I'll use these to fix these two pieces together. And I found that the brass doesn't really rivet cold very well. It crumbles and cracks, whereas hot, it, it does it fine. So I'll heat it up, put it in, rivet one on, heat the next one up, put that in, do it together. Job's good and crack on. I'll heat the next one up and put it through that hole. So I'll put a bit more shape into the rest of the handle now so it's a bit more ergonomic and just has a, a nice flowing form rather than it being flat. I'm gonna try and do this cold. It might not work. Let's see. I'm doing it over a wooden block just so I don't scar that that top diagonal. It's a bit more shape in it now. I'll heat it up to a, just a black temperature, so not a red, and then we can oil the entire thing just with a, a sunflower oil, which is a natural oil. As you know, this is going to be in contact with food, so we don't want any, any harmful substances being on it. So that's it. I should really think about buying some little rivets for this, because those brass rods are a bit tricky to do, and you know, you have to heat them up, and then you lose your heat and it's just a, it can be a bit of a nightmare because they're so small, you know, it's four mil round, so it's all fiddly. Should really buy some proper, you know, copper little rivet heads. And again, the copper ones I should be able to do cold, whereas the brass was cracking or in my past experience of trying to rivet brass, it just cracks and crumbles and it's a bad time. So yeah, maybe I should buy some actual copper rivet heads. Anyway. It's a nice little spatula in that sort of same medieval style with a nice little reverse twist on the end. It's just a nice little piece, all black finish, natural finish. So thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you soon.